How should a Christian or how can a Christian redeem their time? What's the importance of time management? I think of obviously what Paul says in Ephesians 4, talking about redeeming the time, knowing the will of God, how we live, how we talk, how we operate. What are some things that you would say to encourage Christians when it comes to redeeming the time? Yeah, redeeming that time is such an important thing to understand. Um, you know, in Ephesians 4, you mentioned Paul says, I implore you, you know, mm-hmm. it's one of the strongest verbs there, totally. to walk in a manner worthy of the gospel. So those first three chapters, he's laid out all that Christ has done for us. And he says to walk in a manner worthy of the gospel. And you've been preaching through Ephesians, so you understand this. So initially he says that we walk in a manner worthy of the gospel and we walk in unity, mm-hmm. we walk in love, in newness of life, in sexual purity. Yeah. And then he gets to this new section in Ephesians 5.15 It says that we walk in wisdom. Mm. Meaning walking in wisdom means it's far more than what we know. It's how we translate what we know to how we live. Because a Christian, or you could, have all of the knowledge in the world and still be a biblical fool. Because that's why it says we need to walk in wisdom. Now, once Paul gets at this category of walking in wisdom, it's always interesting to me the first thing he details. That after we walk in wisdom, the first thing he tells us we need to do is have a shrewd, stewardship of our time he says walk as wise making the most of our time really the word there is redeeming the time buying it up because the days are evil the christian wanting to walk in wisdom understands that one of the ways they walk in a manner worthy of the gospel Mm -hmm. is when they consider the use of their time a matter that matters to god so we need to redeem our time for a few reasons number one because our time is short we're not promised a long time our life is an hourglass it's been turned over our time is short and not only is it short not only is it like a weaver's shuttle it says in job i don't even know what a weaver's shuttle is (laughs) but it sounds fast (laughs) so our time is short our time is also uncertain Mm. come now you who say in james today or tomorrow we'll do this you don't even know what your life will look like tomorrow you may have dinner in 90 minutes and you might not make it there Mm. your time is short it's uncertain And third, once it's gone, it's gone forever. Wealth can be lost and rebuilt, but once your time is gone, it's gone. But the reason we need to redeem our time is because God has appointed for every single person a work that they are to do while they are on earth. God did not give just a general macro assignment. He has given us a micro assignment. That's why Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And we often depersonalize that. But there is a real element where you, Costi, have been crafted and saved by God so that you would walk in the specific works that God has assigned to you before time began. And you cannot fulfill the works that God has given you to do if you do not have a stewarding of your time. That's why even John or Jesus says in John that you know night is coming when no man can work, so we must do the works of him who sent us while it is day. Day meaning life, night meaning death. Yes. Night's coming, and when he says that to his disciples, we can also assume that that's, that's given to us today, that we have been given a work to do by God. And we are going to give an account for if we did that. So there's just a massive, there's massive ramifications to redeeming our time, and there's so many ways in which we waste it. But I think often we we don't consider the brevity of our life. Mm. We don't consider the uncertainty of it. But we don't have a high regard for the reality that every lay person, mom, teacher, lawyer, doctor, nurse, has a God-given assignment specifically for them that they're going to stand before God and give an accounting for. And... At the Bema Seat, that's the the rewards that we get. Like one of the ways that we are faithful stewards is if we maximize and leverage the time allotted to us for God's glory. And the people that will hear, well done, my good and faithful servant, are the people that understand. Christians don't kill time. Hmm. They redeem it. They buy it back. Why? Because the days are evil. Paul says that we are in evil days 2,000 years ago, and what was true then is true now. But that word for time is interesting. It's meaning the eras and the epochs Mm -hmm. are evil, and you know that. But it means that every Christian has been put into a period of evil 
they're to take stock of the evil around them. And they can say with Mordecai, I am here for such a time as this. And in order for me to be wielded as a weapon for God's glory and the advancement of the gospel, I don't have time to waste. Hmm. These days are evil and God has put me here for these evil days. So redeeming your time matters a lot.